right. Pulling Go for that. Connecticut. Yeah. yeah. Very good. That's cool. That's exciting. It is hot. Yes, it's very warm. We're on our way. I think we'll quite easily get to 90 in the park, and that would make it the hottest day that we've seen in a month's time. So a big fast forward into, or, or rewind, I should say, into four weeks ago where our temperatures were stuck in the 90s. This time around, it does not last that long. We've just got a day of this extreme heat, and then tomorrow, a cold front will be coming through the area, and it clears us up. Time for the weekend. Accu weather starting off across the area. It's still a bit hazy in some spots, and looking at this vantage, point past the Empire State Building down into lower Manhattan. You can see a bit of the haze. 86 officially at Central Park. 38% humidity and a west wind at four miles an hour. Pressure is on the rise. There's an air quality warning. It goes for coastal Connecticut right into New York City for Long Island and parts of northwestern and central New Jersey. What that means basically is the air is very still. A lot of the pollutants trapped right at the surface. So be aware if you have uh, issues with air quality. Temperatures are in the low 80s outside of the city. We really got a quick head start. And so I think that officially we could make Make it into the 90s today, but then that cold front's going to come in and cool us out. We're going to be mild by the time we get into the weekend. So the heat peaks today. Humidity still sticks around tomorrow and makes its peak before the front comes through. Gives us a fantastic finale for the last official weekend in August. The flow out of the west and the southwest is producing some of that moisture right at the surface for us, and that's going to set the stage for tomorrow, along with this front that's coming in from Canada. So the combination of the front and this moisture coming up from the south, that's what's really going to put the squeeze on us tomorrow. And I think we start with mostly cloudy skies across the area. Temperatures get into the mid-80s, and then we see the showers and storms for the afternoon and evening. Peak of the heat today, high pressure goes offshore, and we're looking at temperatures in the mid-80s. It's still very sticky tomorrow, and unsettled weather. We'll see showers across the area as early as mid-morning, but then the front itself, watch the timing here, the clouds are definitely in place early on. By 8 o'clock, we have a few stray showers. That could actually stabilize the atmosphere just a little bit. But the front is way back here to the west. In fact, it stalls out a bit, may not even come through until late on Thursday night into early Friday morning before it finally clears the area. So if that happens, the storms might be late on Thursday night into early Friday. That could be the stormiest thunder that we see around the area. Rip current risk is moderate. If you're going down the shore, it's going to be a great beach day. Tomorrow's still sticky. That threat of storms around in 85. The AccuWeather seven-day forecast, 84 Friday. I think we'll be slow to clear. The storms might make an early exit, but we'll be slow to clear on Friday. Turns out to be a nice late Friday afternoon and evening. Saturday and Sunday temperatures are comfortable, upper 70s, low 80s. All right. All right. Yeah, timed that one right, right? Yes, you yeah. did. <laughs> <All> <laughs> Thanks, <right>. Amy. <laughs> Stella.